Guest tonight kicked off his comedy career writing and producing the popular cartoon Boy Mongoose. You can catch him in his show Bedroom Hindu at the Brisbane Funny Fest in August. Here making his network television debut. Please welcome Ashwin Sega. Thank you. Uh, thanks. I was watching that show Married at First Sight. Uh, or as they call it in India, marriage. <laughs> No, I love being dominated. <laughs> oh. I can't be the only one, right? Oh, submissive guys, give us a whimper. <laughs> Couple. Imagine if that was an MC call out, though. Submissive guys, give us a whimper! <laughs> huh? Huh? <laughs> That's what I'm talking about! <laughs> I've got a nut allergy. Uh, <laughs> so don't hit me if you've handled cashew. <laughs> yeah, motherfucker! <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Eagle Boys Pizza? Oh, I'd like a ham and cheese pizza. Yeah, my name's Ashwin. Ashwin. Ashwin? Yeah, Ashley's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I find sometimes I, I do have to repeat myself around new people because I just get a little thrown, you know, and I don't think it's what I'm saying. I think it's how I'm looking. Because <laughs> I'll say something like, excuse me, do you have the aisle or window seat? But what they'll hear is, Allahu Akbar, Bismillah, in the law! No, I usually end up getting the whole row to myself, so <laughs> that's pretty good. Uh, at school, I was voted most likely to reincarnate. <laughs> but you know, you know, migrant kids uh, usually start speaking a bit later than everyone else, and this happened to me when I was a baby, you know, because mum and dad were there going, and the television was going, one of these kids is not like the other one. <laughs> and I'm in the middle going, oh, OK. One of you is talking complete gibberish. <laughs> and I'm not saying a word till I figure out who it is. Because <laughs> I don't want to look stupid. <laughs> so to avoid looking stupid, I didn't start speaking until I was seven. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then I was like, konnichiwa, boku wa ashun desu. <laughs> because I'd mainly been reading Nintendo instructions. Uh, so, <laughs> it's fine. Actually, sometimes my Aussie friends say to me, oh, I could never go to India. I don't want to get deli belly. Uh, Australia, yeah, Australia's got a drinking problem, right? Sometimes my Indian friends say, oh, I could never go to Australia. I don't want to get Sydney kidney. No. <laughs> I don't want to get Brisbane River liver. Okay? <laughs> I don't want to get a Perth defect. But <laughs> I want that. Uh, but I quite like it when people don't match up to their stereotypes. Like, oh, I was doing a gig in Toowoomba in Queensland recently, and there were these four rough country tradie looking dudes up the front, but they had an Asian in the group. They looked like if the wiggles had gone off the rails. <laughs> sort of like... <laughs> and the Asian guy, Asian guy, he was the only racist one. <laughs> like, he was stereotyping me. I said, you need to wake up to yourself, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> and there was this woman in the pub, right, and she invited me back to her place, a 91 Commodore. Uh, <laughs> and she, she was really kinky. Like, at one point, she squatted down on the gear stick, consumed it whole. <laughs> said, does this turn you on? <laughs> and I was like, yeah, but can we pull off the motorway first? <laughs> <laughs> I had to grab her and put her in neutral. Just, <laughs> just <laughs> Has anyone given a woman an orgasm? It's just me. Uh, I heard the waiter tell if the woman you're with has really had an orgasm. 
rather than faked it, is to see if her face turns red at the time because the blood rushes in. And I was with this woman a few weeks ago and afterwards I said, oh, you came, right? I saw your face flush red. And she said, no, that was shame. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Correct response. Um, actually, you know, if you marry into our family, you have to convert to Islam. And we're a Hindu family, we just like to fuck with people. <laughs> Uh, I went to this historical reenactment village the other day. It's called Townsville. <laughs> now, Ashwin's an Indian name, right? But I've noticed that Indians and Australians pronounce people's names differently. So Latika becomes Latika. Taravi becomes Daravi. Subramani Brahmanitan becomes Steve. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks, guys. Hey,